Dutch EV breaks records. Amazon buys Facebook satellite team. LeBron enters the metaverse. Olympics holograms. And Walmart's warehouse super robots. This is Future Sandwich News, and these are the top five stories in tech this week. And don't forget to catch me hosting Australia's number one business show, The Rebound, airing Saturdays at 12.30 on Channel 9. Lightyear One, a Dutch-made solar electric vehicle, has set a record for the longest drive on a single charge, travelling for almost 9 hours at 85 kilometres an hour over a distance of 710 k's. This was achieved on 60 kilowatt of energy versus the 2021 Tesla Model 3 long range which gets 455 kilometres on 70 kilowatt battery capacity. Four. Amazon has acquired Facebook's team of satellite engineers and their relevant IP to bolster its 500-strong Project Kuiper team. Their aim is to send over 3,000 satellites into low Earth orbit, offering high-speed broadband to consumers across the globe. It's easy to see how such a constellation, when integrated with AWS, Amazon Prime and other services, helps close the loop on Amazon's already dominant market position and further enhances the organization's network effect and economy of scale. Three. Players can now purchase a LeBron James skin for Fortnite, promoting the upcoming flick Space Jam A New Legacy. This is just another example of the compelling value proposition for celebrities and brands in leveraging metaverse platforms like Fortnite and Roblox. And for the platforms themselves, a substantial upside for future ad revenues. Two. Discovery, home of the Olympics in Europe, are refusing to let the pandemic ruin a good broadcast by introducing their Cube technology. Seamlessly beaming virtual guests into the studios, 360-degree locations and augmented reality demos recreate the outdoor conditions on the ground in Tokyo, all using gaming technology such as the Unreal Engine, developed by Epic Games. One. Walmart has extended its relationship with industrial automation startup Symbotic to bring robots to 25 regional distribution centres. The deal follows a successful pilot which kicked off back in 2017 to improve freight sorting, stocking and unloading. Their inbound cells have the world's fastest palletization speeds, allowing for the processing of 1,700 cases per cell per hour. Not even an army of humans could get close to those numbers. And that's a wrap for this week. Big thanks to Granite Bay Capital for their insights. Subscribe to their Substack for more on any of these stories. My name is Tommy McCubbin and you can find me on futuresandwich.com, LinkedIn, TikTok, Insta and the pod. This has been Future Sandwich News. We'll see you next week.